Hi, I'm Akshay and in this video we are going to talk about the introduction to the topic alternating current. So by far we have established that there are two kinds of currents. One is direct current and the other is alternating current. So the direct current is the current, basically it's the current which is steady and does not vary with time. And the alternating current is one which varies sinusoidally with time, okay? And uh, in uh, before a century ago, during late 80s, during late 1800, there was a, a heated discussion between which of the method. This was the time when most of the electrical uh, distribution lines were going to set up and people were debating over the idea that which type of distribution method should we use? Should we use AC distribution method? Should we use AC? Or the second option was should we use DC? So there was a very long debate on this. Thomas Edison was in favor of DC current. So Thomas Edison wanted that DC should be promoted so that he could he had all the technology for transmission in place so that he could be employed to put all the distribution lines and make a fortune for himself. While on the other hand, for AC, it was George Westinghouse who was favoring all the attention in the uh, in this AC. So how did they choose? The, uh, it is believed that they actually argued that for AC we can use a transformer so we can step up the voltage and we can also step down the, which DC does not support. So this was one of those qualities of AC which won over DC. How about others? Is It was also looked into that transmission basically incurs a lot of losses. Transmission will incur losses. So in order to minimize losses they have to come that which which uh, for a transmission of AC is the losses in the energy is more or for transmission of DC the losses in energy are more. So it was also found again because since you can transfer AC with high voltages and low currents so the transmission losses transmission losses which was I square R were less for AC because we can get to a very less current with respect to AC very low current levels are achievable and hence it was preferred over uh, DC. So in uh, that heated discussion ended up there and till today we are still following the same uh, thing that uh, in our houses what we get from our line is this is our transformer and this is our pool and there are two lines coming which power up. These are power lines and what we receive is AC voltage. In India we get AC voltage at some frequency and in US we get AC voltage at some other frequency which we'll talk about in a little while. So first of all, which is it is very important to understand what these ACs are. How what is this AC? How does it change its value with time? So uh, to supply an AC to a circuit, we need to have a source which is alternating its EMF. Uh, such a source as we've discussed uh, can be a source of coil rotating in a constant angular velocity in a magnetic field. A coil rotating with constant omega with a constant omega in a constant magnetic field. This can produce an alternating EMF and uh, this develops a very common prototype for our commercial alternating generator. Okay, so this is the method to make alternating EMF, alternating voltage source.
So we use this term AC source for any device that supplies sinusoidally varying voltage and the uh, circuit diagram which we use for this the circuit diagram which we use for AC source goes something like this this is the uh, circuit diagram which are going this is an AC source also since the voltage varies sinusoidally we can say that voltage at any function of time at any time can be written as V sin of omega t whereas V right here V this is instantaneous voltage this is instantaneous voltage and uh, this is the maximum value of voltage maximum value of voltage omega is known as the frequency and this is the value the time at which we are measuring our instantaneous voltage this omega is angular frequency so uh, what we know is that uh, since on this right now I have drawn here a little graph we have here and we have a source the icons for source and we have represented that on a T curve VT curve this is voltage it's um, voltage and this is time so the voltage increases in one cycle and it decreases in another cycle in such a way that this total cycle is called time period and we know the time period is nothing but 2 pi by omega so this is the total time that means in one time period the voltage fluctuates from a positive from positive to negative and uh, we can see uh, here we have drawn for positive voltage for the positive part the voltage provided by this source would be plus on this side and minus on the right side minus on right this is minus now for the next part for the next part the voltage would provided would be zero and for the negative cycle we can see that the voltage provided would be positive on this end and negative on the right uh, on the left end negative on the left so uh, this is what we say that this is the way the voltage varies in an AC source and uh, this omega is called angular frequency it has to be noted that uh, in India or in uh, most of the countries we have most of the rest of countries we have this angular frequency as uh, this is time period this angular frequency in most of the world we have as 314 radians per second for most of the world however for US this angular frequency is about 377 radians per second they had to move a little bit faster their armature coil to achieve this or in other words what we can say is that the time period or the frequency of rotation the frequency of rotation which is 1 by T is frequency of rotation will be omega by 2 pi this value for most of the world is it is a uh, 50 Hertz that means the signal fluctuates 50 times per second for the most part of the world while for US it fluctuates 60 times per second and that is what we say that okay the frequency in India is low or in other countries is low when it is compared to US and uh, similarly the current for any circuit due to the AC source can also be written as I would be I 
cos of omega t this is also a sinusoidal current and uh, uh, we can see that i varies sinusoidally with time okay this is also uh, ac current so AC source produces sinusoidally changing voltage with time which if applied across a circuit a simple circuit having a resistance can produce AC current in the circuit as I and that would be of the form I is equal to I cos omega t.